Welcome back uh, to the fish room and in today's video we will uh, rescape this aquarium uh, behind me. The plan is to turn it into aquarium for the adult uh, fish I'm planning to sell. So we are just basically continuing my breeding for profit series. And today we will remove all the plants from this aquarium, all the hardscape and all the soil. The plan is to put another bottom layer on the bottom of this aquarium and also place a couple of terracotta pots with low light plants like uh, crypts. Later on I'm going to remove all the fish and finally I'm going to place a dollfish that I'm planning to sell in this case it will be cherry barbs and female guppies. So let's go! aquarium has been completely emptied as you can see I cleaned it also the canister filter that is located below it is approximately six months old and I'm just going to use it for this aquarium so the next step is adding a thin layer of JBL Manado it is inactive uh, substrate and it will not leach any nutrients into the water I added it before in all my aquariums except the one that I'm keeping Corridoras in those aquariums I decided to go with the bare bottom because it is much easier to clean 
So after adding the bottom layer of JBL Monado, I will add a couple of terracotta pots and I'm just going to use the same aquarium soil that was in this uh, aquarium already. It's only six months old. I will just add a couple of uh, root tabs and probably some crypts. I set up this aquarium almost two months ago, it's Pygmy Corridoras. As you can see there's a lot of botanicals and leaves and I didn't even try to breed them because I didn't have space. So the aquarium has been like this for almost two months and finally a couple of days ago I did a, let's say, bigger water change with the RO water and finally they spawned there's a lot of eggs so let's have a closer look as you can see there's one egg right on the glass here and the corridoras are resting I was conditioning them with the live food mostly with the live baby brine shrimps micro worms and also frozen blood worms and dry food so as soon as i did the water change with the RO water i emptied approximately 25 percent and then i added the pure RO water and immediately next day they spawned most of the eggs were on the glass but also there's a lot of them in the moss there in the center of the screen you can see another egg that is uh, attached to the moss and uh, i did decided to leave uh, half of the eggs here to see if the babies will survive there's a lot of botanicals and small microorganisms i'll be adding uh, micro worms like baby brine shrimp so let's see how many of them sur will survive and also half of the eggs i pulled outside of the aquarium i pulled approximately 20 eggs together with the java moss out of the aquarium and i placed them in this small container with uh, air and i also added uh, one drop of methyl and blue the eggs uh, are here appro approximately four days and there's already one tiny fry hopefully the rest of them will hatch soon
so this aquarium is also completed as you can see I added some guppy females I still have some guppy fry as soon as they grow grow out more I will add them here also I added my breeding uh, pairs of cherry barbs and currently I have around uh, 40 something uh, small fry that are still too small to be added here also as soon as they grow up I will add them here I decided to go with the crypts because they are low maintenance easy going you don't need to trim them you just uh, throw in a root tub once or twice a year into the soil and they grow hopefully with time in a couple of months they will uh, fill up the space and more so it will look uh, more green also when building something like this I decided to go with something simple because when I need to net the fish out and remove it to sell it uh, it will be easier for me to catch the fish so that's it for this video in the next one we continue building more things so see you in the next one